Okay, I know I'm all over the place. I'm honestly not trying to interrupt anyone. So whatever people are doing with the downloads that need to be heard, yeah, it's like do your thing, you know. Don't disregard me, you know. Yeah, so anyway, I just... So you know how they uh, mentioned, yeah, having like aha moments in the shower? So it's like I must have known to keep doing that. I know some people be like, oh, you're such a shower whore or shower hog or you're so selfish, right? 33, not realizing it's just method to madness. So people can even be thinking, um, uh, not seeing you clearly and just thinking like you're selfish when in reality you're just using method to madness. <laughs> yeah, I know we're really complex, but I'm like, what the fuck? So another reason why explaining like people having tantrums and shit yeah, um, because I was thinking of the Raphael meme that I saved that Joe gave me, like, sent me, right? Yeah, and it's regards to, like, the Matrix reality and stuff, basically. It's, like, something about trust in God, having to do with trust in God. Yeah, and it's more or less really, like, just using that same intelligence, really. So this is really, you could just say, this is the... Machiavellian intelligence, this is the, you could say even the ego or the shadow. Yeah, you got the id, ego, and super ego. So, I don't know. It can have to do with all of those, really. But, yeah, something about, um, crossed over to the malignant narcissist world, preserving fantasy, yeah, so I crossed over to their world about with preserving fantasy. So, love that defies physics. Uh, having experience, this is just random shit that came to me. Uh, knowing energy just recycles and God isn't all what he's cracked up to be. Yeah, I know, Kareem just did a post about Sagittarius and uh, someone having an issue with Sagittarius. Yeah, I know, it's a reader. I already know us two have been competing with each other for, like, a while. Yeah, I know. I'm not going into it. I'm not trying to... It's like I'm respecting people's space or whatever, and I'm not afraid to admit to shit. Yeah, I know. It's like everybody be knowing about everybody by now. It's like to each their own. Knowing energy just recycles, and God isn't all what he's cracked up to be. So something with this, having to adjust to change and downloads, very in tune and sensitive to consciousness, people being reason to make people change, taking things too personally, but more truth in living a lie than God? It's controversial. It's part of um, pushing the limit. Or limits, yeah. It's pushing the limit and or limits of reality itself. It has to do with that. Because of the fact of knowing that energy oh, it recycles itself. It's silical. So energy is silical. So th you then you start thinking of a lie being like, um, I don't know, um... What's the word I'm looking for? I want to say something like cardinal or fixed. It's fixed. I mean, something about truth and lies being fixed. Or a lie being fixed. More than a truth. It's not real, but it's beautiful. Yeah, I know, uh, Maseroth. Yeah, she mentioned this, and then Lucy mentioned, she mentioned the thing about Lucy just looking at everyone as an extension of herself. Yeah, who's to say that because of the multiple soulmate thing, too, and Bizarre Love Triangle? So, basically, in other words, it's like, to the other side lost its value, too. It got brought down a notch, yeah, it's fair to say. Yeah, this is, um, I don't know why people were making it a point on and off to be, like, 
the only people or like exclusive VIP clubs of people that are the ones that are only in the know kind of thing like vibes. I don't know why that's been kind of like this reoccurring theme. No offense. I mean, yeah, I mean, people are just consciousness hogs. Let's just be real. Some more than others. I'm not saying that they don't have that right or whatever. And it's not to say like I'm trying to even pass judgment or anything like that. Because a creator is just a creator in the end of the day. Yeah, but it's like uh, it's, it, it, m- most of it really in all honesty, even if people don't talk about it. Yeah, most of it's really just people in competition with each other. So, it no, it is easy to feel very alone. And, like, I even know I needed to post a, a thing on this, 555 on the clock, that, yes, I have been gaslighting Libra the entire time, which is true. Yeah, so, like, you know, wh- whomever needs to hear this from me, you know, I, by all means, it's like I don't have a problem with that. Because the thing is, um, you know, it took me a little while, I guess, to even admit and say it. But it's also because I've been just so caught up, whether it's with my, myself, working on myself or whatever. So it's like, in a sense, I'm like not going to like, I'm not going to hold shit against them if, you know, they've been like living their own life, how they see fit and needing to work through things within themselves or whatever in their lives. Yeah, like I'm not going to hold shit against stuff. Yeah, people were stuck on just like, like I said, hogging the airwaves and like not wanting certain people to speak because they wanted to be the ones to speak on it and speak for them yeah so it's just like airway hogs and yeah i know they've made it a point to like get a head start and whatever yeah you know, it is what it is or whatever. It's like to each their own. Like if they happen to get a head start and it works for them and that's how what they set out to do. I mean, that's their own prerogative. I know. Yeah. So it's like I'm not going to like give people shit for it or whatever. But yeah, it's just a little annoying. Yes, just a little bit. Um. Anyway, <sighs> to each their own. Like I said, whatever people do is whatever they do. They're their own creators. Um, you know, anyway, so yeah, it was just interesting download I got. So obviously Method to Madness, um, Aries being natural at that, um, that being, uh, maybe a, a skill of theirs or approach to things of a mastery of approach to things and in helping them find answers that they seek to help them acquire those aha epiphany moments to begin with, right? So, i.e. Me, be, me being probably possibly looked at by outsiders as like, oh, you're selfish, you're, you're, you know, you're a water hog, you're a water whore, or some shit like that. Yeah, when in reality, it's like I get different downloads by doing that. Yeah. So, crossed over, I repeated again some things, not everything. Crossed over to the malignant narcissist world preserving fantasy. So, love that defies physics. So, understanding the reason why they preserve their truth to begin with. Yeah, and why it has to be like that, basically. So, it's like having to come to terms with that. Yeah, it's like having to come to terms with, like, all truths. Or even, let's just say, let's just not even talk about truth and lies. Let's just say having to come to terms with the mechanics of reality and that's it. Yeah, so like society gets too caught up in needing to define things to understand them. But in reality, we have to step back from defining things. I guess in the sense that we're used to, like like via academia or whatever, in, or scholastically, right? I'm not to say people can't still, that can't still help people to understand. But what I'm saying is from, from the, the beginning of time and creation, yeah, they need to understand more of it. Like from like, uh, it's still, there's still defining going on. You know, you think of like lines and angles and numbers and ratios and math. But yeah, it's, but it's just different. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's interesting. A love that defies physics. Um, knowing energy just recycles. Yeah, and God isn't all what he's cracked up to be. So it's like God himself has been brought down off his pedestal finally, basically. Yeah, it's a good way of thinking about it. Having to adjust to um, change and downloads. Very in tune and sensitive to consciousness, obviously. Um, people being reason to make people change. Taking things too personally. Uh, more truth in living a lie than God? So, it's basically understanding things from the other person's, um, uh, pr the other person, them preserving their truth, understanding it from that standpoint instead of the other way around. Yeah, so it will basically reveal, uh, a hidden, uh, I guess, truth out of living a lie. Oh! <gasps> I almost seen 1111. It's not real, but it's beautiful. Oh, this is crazy, man. This is like, this is basically cracking all the codes of the Matrix. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like mine. This is a mind fuck right here. Like, this is, this is the legitimate mind fuck. Yeah. So it's like realizing that you're perpetually in... A mind fuck bubble, basically, yeah. I know people be getting inside each other's heads or something lately. It's crazy.